Hey, what's up, you guys? Um, the last video that I made, Green Eggs and Hamas, is um, I thought it would be a lot more popular than it has been. And it makes me feel like I'm living in the twilight zone where maybe people's gray matter is too gray. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only salmon fish swimming upstream against the grain to find the, the truth. Um, but when the code word for Hamas is the Samic Mem for evil and Sam, which is, you know, in house fake when he says green eggs and ham, referring to the Sam. I just thought it would be a lot more popular and it's it's a shame that uh, the world that we live in is so dark and strange that nobody seems to care that the NWO is behind all of this and the videos that the creator allows me to make prove it uh, with Bible code, Gematria and things like that. So if you haven't caught that video yet, you should. You should share it with your family and your friends and your loved ones and really take it into your mind. Um, Today, I wanted to come and add on to that and talk about Constantine, the Roman conqueror. Um, they call him Constantine the Great, some of the Wikipedia uh, information that's kind of funny. Um, but I needed to teach about him a little bit today because the whole world um, has been led to believe that he was the first to embrace Christianity and then spread it over to the Western world. Um, however, that's not quite what happened. And after I get done telling you why he uses the code Constantine, which is con Satan 19, you should be even more floored than you should be if you watched the Green Eggs and Hamas video. So like I'll say it a hundred thousand times, you guys, I'm not here to be smarter or too smart for people to understand, I have to find a way to decipher the information that the Creator gives me and give it to you in a way that uh, people can understand. Um, because it's hard for me to understand too. It's not like I'm just able to come here and, you know, and, and I probably always say things wrong, but at least I'm trying, at least I'm seeking truth. And, um, and the information is divinely given and speaking of seeking truth, um, I figure by now a lot of truth seekers are coming to watch these videos and the things that I say aren't as surprising as, um, well, as they were to me three years ago. But um, when the truth is laid out to you in a way that you can see with your own eyes, then you can't really deny it. I mean, you, you can if you want to be in the dark, but I want to be in the light, like this prism. Um, and I want you to be in the light too. So that's what I'm making these videos for. And today's video is going to start out, uh, you guys have to remember when I'm talking about the, the Gematria, really all it is is just like biblical code hidden within alphanumerics because of um, what I've explained in the other videos where Hebrew was broken down Greek and English is really just a junk language um, where vowels or consonants really matter it's just a matter of what spell they wanted to cast the occult um, and then they made the words fit their spelling needs that's why it's called spelling casting spells and again why a television is tell a vision um, so we're breaking through all those spells the spooky electric haze that um, Prince sang about um, and, um, yeah, that's, I wasn't planning on talking today, so I'm a little taken aback. Um, but I want to show you the spelling. That's what I was saying within the name and the codes that are hidden within the name Constantine, as well as the number 19, um, because it's all, uh, part of this next code that I'm going to show you about. So consider the name Con, C-O-N. Stan, S-T-A-N, Tyne, T-I-N-E, Constantine, three syllables. Constantine was responsible for, as I said, first forcing Christianity, not embracing, upon Europe and Western civilization. The fact that the first version came out in 1611 is no coincidence and it has everything to do with the t-i-n-e of the name con satan 19. 
Constantine reigned over the Roman Empire and much more. Again, I jokingly say his acceptance of Christianity and his establishment of an eastern capital city, which would later bear his name, mark his rule as a significant pivot point between ancient history and the Middle Ages. However, let us consider the name once again. Khan, the original Khan, C-O-N. On a magical road by Silicon You can bet they'll be chilling in Babylon Thinking about a way to take a spit to Proton You eating all the bloody chicken and dead corn Mickey D shit can't feed they mean you Turn up and down, you can pitch your health Now come on, no Don't you know that dead blood kills into pharaohs The immune system up to wear upon And you know the virus can be up and log on www.u.com yeah. Let's talk about the youth in this con Get more, don't front, just yawn It's the kind of stuff that requires patience Never mind the rhyme, just relax and wax the song On and on and on and on and on Ain't The conspiracy, oh man, the big one, conspire, con science, which is science's version of conscience. So con science is supposed to be an explanation to the reality of God's universe. Uh, contempt, control, the con, the original con. When I was a kid, I used to see these trails in the sky all the time. And so oh, that's cool. A jet just went over. And then you started to see a whole bunch of them. Consider again the three syllables. Con. Stan. Time. Now, con, you can see that Stan can look like Satan, okay? And Tyne, with just the letters T-I-N-E, you can spell both nine N I N E, as well as ten, T E N. When you look below at the word spelled out, nineteen, you can see a little bit more what I mean. If you take out the vowels, it looks like this. So you have N T N, which is basically N T, N T for the New Testament version, nineteen, which is why it was in nineteen. Or excuse me, 1611. <laughs> it's a 911 code. P-I-911. It's I've explained it in the other videos, but that was comical to me. Also, when looking at duplicating letters and numbers, when you take it down to its bare bones, mirror writing gematria, it's NTZ, which is code for Nazi. Nazi ain't got no humanity. They're the foot soldiers of a Jew-hating, mass-murdering maniac, and they need to be destroyed. And they're tortured by their subconscious for the evil they have done. It will be with thoughts of us that they are tortured with. Sound good? So again, T-I-N-E can spell nine, N-I-N-E, or it can spell ten, T-E-N. 10 plus 9 is 19. The opposite of 19 is 16. 1611, which was when the NT, which is also part of time, was introduced. So 19, Constantine, or Con Satan 19, is part of what I'm trying to explain the code. Let's look again at the word 19. 9, excuse me, N is the 14th letter of the uh, alphabet. E is obviously the fifth letter. However, in Gematria, they make the E equal to a three because that's the way mirror writing works. So when you take the code as N being 14, I um, is a one, 
same thing they do with the E and the 3, then you get this pattern of 1, 4, 3, 3, 1, 4. Now, the reason that the 2 is dropped down below is because it's T minus 2 and counting. You feel me? The fact that the mathematical code equation 314 equals pi can be found in the number 19 should be a little more than moving, especially if you've watched the video, the code pi. Go and research for yourself. There are very few words in the English language that end in T-I-N-E. So the fact that this name was chosen to be coded as the 19 or 9 plus 10 is no coincidence, no conspiracy, con being the prefix. You'll see that I have pale written in. You can replace con with pale, take the S from Stan, and then Tyne, and we have Palestine or R.L. Stein. And if you have children, I'm sure you're familiar with that spooky writer. So the con is the pale, as in the pale writer in the book of Revelation. The S, the Satan, and the time spells Palestine. Even the guy's hat in Alice in Wonderland says, in this style, 9 plus 10. For those of you who aren't familiar, in the Bible it talks in the book of Revelation about a pale rider, a, a horse, a pale rider, which is right here, P-A-L-E, okay? And in mirror writing, you would have P, which is also a six or a nine, and then if you did the backwards kind of A's like I do, then you have another six, and then you do this one, and you have another six. So basically with that P, you have an upside down six. With this old fashioned A, you have another six. And with this E, you have yet another six. The scripture reads in their testament, And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and its name that sat on him was death, and hell followed with him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with beasts of the earth. You guys, what you see in front of you is this year's Halloween commercial where the Israelites, King David, could be represented on the left with the kid with the crown and almost a mem and on his blue shirt. And over here we have Patchy the pirate wearing the colors of Palestine. Isn't that interesting? With Asia sneaking up in between. Really interesting with the pale writer, Palestine, R.L. Stein, and Constantine, 19. I need to get back to more code quickly. The name, Constantine. Think about the name Stan. S-A-T-A-N. Just because the vowels or letters don't duplicate doesn't mean that they don't exist. So the name Stan is code for Satan. Stan, Satan, and if you put the any Christian cross, you have NASA. Now also, it came to my memory that when I first heard the word social distancing, I remember it was bothering me viscerally, and I made one, this writing that you see here, and you can see also that the name social distancing contains the name Stan. It's like it was part of a plan or something. You know, um, before these things were revealed to me in the life after, I might have seen a video like mine. Look at the sun in the... I didn't even do that on purpose. I wanted to get the plant, but the sun is going down. Um, anyway, because if you watch my videos, you know that I, until I was like 23, didn't hear anything about Jesus or God. It was only when I was in jail for 15 days for drunk driving. And, and um, so I've been looking for Hashem for 30 years now. So when I come here and I talk about religion, I'm not coming here to to disrespect anyone who's been taught any anything about this man named Jesus Christ or who has a father bill or whoever that they like to go see on Sundays. I'm not trying to disrespect that part, but what I am trying to tell you is that 
you're responsible for finding the truth, um, your truth, the truth of Hashem. And the information that has been filtered down to us has been by those that control us. Um, they are white supremacists. Um, it's why it's the White House. It's why it's called um, 3K for MK, like the M on its side. The M is the 13th letter. So the MK of MK Ultra is the 13, which is the 13th Merovigian bloodline. And they believe that they are the descendants uh, that will um, usher in the Masonic era. So of course the Pope is has been lining himself up in ways that I've been trying to expose over the last three years. Um, and you know, it's, it's a, it's a big deal. So I'm not coming on here to say you're wrong for what you believe. You shouldn't ever say this or that or the other. But the fact of the matter is there's a certain people being attacked. There's a certain land of Israel, Eretz Israel being attacked because of the holy souls that it contains, because of the truth that they carry, that there is only one creator, one master of the universe, one one, he controls everything, and he didn't just send somebody named Jesus to be his son and take his place and to save the whole world. That is a lie written into that New Testament that I was explaining to you earlier to make you complacent, to make you irresponsible, to make you not look to correct your soul or your own behavior believing that somebody died so that you could act any way that you wanted. Well, that's just not the truth. And I know people might think, well, I repent, you know, I pray, I, I go to confessional, I do this or I do that, but only you know what you're doing in your heart, you and Hashem in heaven's court, because I've been there, I've been judged. Um, and you do have to answer for every thought, for every intention. Um, like, so if you choose not to listen to this video, you know, that's up to you, but you're going to have to answer for what you did do to find the truth instead of just, you know, reading your New Testament once a month or at Chris Sam time, Chris Mass time, um, Green Eggs and Ham video, and um, not making a true in-depth search to find the Creator and your connection to Him. So anyway, the people are being attacked by the... Uh, the Hamas right now, um, but it's just a no, another form of Nazism or Satanism or occultism, which, um, I, you know, it's blended. It's all the real legions right now. Um, you know, the Kingdom Hall is in there too, and I'm going to either put that in the end of this video or tomorrow's video, but um, they're all to blame because they're all telling truths that put them in power because they wrote the New Testament, they wrote the beginning, and they wrote the end, and that's why the Kingdom Hall preaches the Armageddon, um, and that only they would be the survivors of this new coming Messianic era. Um, it's just all lies no matter where you look, and it is planned. It is dark. It is occult. It is casting spells. It is trickery. It is because souls are for sale. And um, much like the letters 19 and in teen, T-E-E-N, um, they want the younger ones. The younger, the better. Um, think kitty, K-I-D-I-E, I-D. It's all a plan. It's all a code. I'm asking you to go watch the Pi Code videos, parts one, two, and three. How many ever there are, I don't know. It explains how all of the wars and all of the false flag bombings have been to the code 19, the 314 equals Pi. I've got a lot better at explaining it, standing still, speaking more slowly and clearly, I think, being more coherent. Um... It's a big deal trying to spread this information to the world and do it lovingly. Um, there's no other way to do it. I'm not going to do it forcefully. I'm not going to blame you for what you believe because I too once believed uncomfortably that there was, you know, I was told that there was a Jesus. So that's what I tried to find. And I, it just didn't, it never, man, one time my sister wanted to pray at my, um, <clears throat> 
my daughter's birthday party and she was like and I said no you're not gonna pray in the name of at, at my birthday party and she like flipped out and we stopped talking for a minute because I just it made me uncomfortable I, I knew that the creator made us each uniquely and lovingly um, for a purpose and that we weren't meant to be clones all walking around indoctrinated with the same listening to this rabbi to solve your problems or to letting your father tell you what to do or, or listening to your pastor like listen to your dang self you know what I'm saying listen to your inner voice which is Hashem's gift to us which is him inside of us and that's what the war is all about is killing off attacking the people not only in the past but the current that have that belief that there is only one true creator um, Adonai Elohim I met um, and holding fast to that um, and I didn't know I was going to be standing here talking about you know Judaism um, to me it was never about this religion or that religion but um, Judaism Judaism in its core is about a soul that's one true main desire is to remain connected to the Creator no matter what, no matter how dark the day. Um, and that's me. So whether or not I'm Jewish at my core, um, whether or not you believe you are, the love from the connection, um, the things that were explained to me in the afterlife that the John 316 Christianity is a lie. Um, that it's just to separate us all from the Creator. It's very, very sad and very dark. Um, not only that, the New Testament wrote that there would be an Antichrist. Um, not only that there's a, a Savior, you know, the one they teach as Jesus, but that there would be an Antichrist before the Savior came. So when I was in the afterlife, in the, the one we saw physically in this world, this prince told me that he was the creator and there was this backwards reverse plan to use him as that antichrist you know i don't have words for it um but it is true i don't know if it'll still take place or not i don't know if these videos are helping um if people would share them and listen to them as truth and not just my life after death experience from being on drugs but no the reason why I was allowed to see the truth is because I had been seeking the truth for 30 years. The essence of truth and from what I understand each life after death experience is uh, based on what you are able to perceive, what you have sought not only for your soul's correction but you know um, intellectually you know to find the creator, how much reading you've done, what you know, how much Torah you hold what you've done to help other people, you know, the whole do unto others thing that is the most important thing in the world. Um, I know a lot of people don't follow that rule in this day and age and it makes people not want to treat people how they want to be treated, but you can't let the darkness take away your light. I refuse to. That's why I'm here. So, um, Again, I just want you to know I'm not coming to blame anybody or take away from your religion. All I'm trying to say is this. If you believe on Jesus, take all those energies and all those prayers that you put to him in your mind and, and just say them to the creator. Say them uh, to the creator. You know that you know that you're just as important to the creator, if not more so, than some written in guy named Jesus. Um, that you are able to have your one-on-one -on -one connection with the Creator that in fact you know it's it's your main desire because you want to experience soul correction because this world that we're in is just a practice world for the world to come and the Creator is doing us all a really big favor by letting us be here and correct ourselves and if you step away from that correction for any length of time whatsoever you're kind of more separated from him in the world to come and I don't want people to be separated from the Creator so I'm trying to teach the truth that he has shown to me in the afterlife and in writing and in hearing and um, and I'm not gonna stop because it's uh, it's why I get up every day it's it keeps me going and I appreciate it um, so dig it I'm going to go for a minute. I'll probably just post this video as is. It might be kind of long now. Um, 
but yeah, go watch it again. Go rewind. I know it's a lot. And if you haven't watched the Green Eggs and Ham, Sam, go watch that video. I'm keeping them short now so you can watch the whole things. All right. So, mm -hmm.